From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is an OSU update with Gina Mizell. I'm Jenny Carlson. Gina, Cowboys opened on Saturday against Mississippi State, and we saw a change in quarterback with J.W. Walsh coming in and taking over for Clint Shelf, now the starter. We also saw, it looks like a little bit of a change offensively. It looks like this may be a run first team. Is that, is that possible? Well, I think it's an example of Mike Gundy and Mike Yersich catering to J.W. Walsh's strengths. Obviously, he's great running the football, and you saw a lot of plays out of that three-back formation, and, and that's the formation, the, the diamond that we've seen in this air raid offense. But Mike Yersich kind of created a tweak where he created an option run for Walsh, and that was obviously really successful on Saturday. So it'll be very interesting to see how this offense develops now that they've settled on their quarterback, at least for the time being. Um, um, and he's a, a dual threat type guy, but they've got all those receivers out there. They've right. got Tracy Moore and Josh Stewart and Marcel Aitman and Juwan Seals, and the list goes on and on. How are they going to get involved? Because Josh Stewart was the leading receiver on Saturday, only had 39 yards, and 21 of them came on one play in the two-minute drill. Mm -hmm. So certainly I think that's kind of the next step to uh, trying to mix and match all of this together because they, are, they do have so many threats uh, through the air. Well, and I think that's the question people want to know. Is this just a one-game situation where – you have some things working. The run game is working well against Mississippi State. J.W. Walsh comes in. You want to go to his strengths. But they're clearly a passing team. They brought in Yersich to throw the ball around. So is this, is this a, just a, a one-game thing, or do they, do they transition more to a run game? You've got Jeremy Smith, Desmond Rowland. You've got some great running back options, too. Yeah, I mean, they want to be a balanced offense mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, even when this team was slinging the ball around with Brandon Whedon, there was still Joseph Randall and Kendall Hunter in the backfield. So it's not like this ever was a, an attack that completely abandoned the run, so to speak. But I think you will see a, a, maybe a little bit more run game, obviously with the quarterback being a, a – a, a threat to run the football but um, it's interesting because Mike Gundy I asked him about it on his teleconference on Sunday and he said he's not even quite sure what the identity of this offense is going to be and it's probably going to take two to three to four games probably by Big 12 play we'll have a little bit better idea and you're right now they've settled on the quarterback they know what they're going to do um, as far as that's concerned I think now we'll kind of get to see and, and against two lesser opponents in, in UTSA and Lamar maybe this is a chance for J.W. Walsh to throw off that or to show off that supposedly improved arm it certainly looked improved on Saturday get those receivers involved fling it around a little bit and see kind of what sticks as far as that's concerned I'm sure the receivers would be in favor of that yes I think so <laughs> all right thanks Gina be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.